Okay, I have another story that is on a record. So let's give this a try. I hope it isn't scratched to make funny noises, but we'll see. This is the story of the tawny scrawny lion. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear the tawny scrawny lion growl like this. Let's begin now. Once there was a tawny, scrawny, hungry lion who never could get enough to eat. He chased monkeys on Monday, kangaroos on Tuesday, zebras on Wednesday, Bears on Thursday. Camels on Friday. And on Saturday, elephants. And since he caught everything he ran after, that lion should have been as fat as butter. But he wasn't at all. The more he ate, the scrawnier and hungrier he grew. Oh me, oh my, I'm hungry. Can't seem to get my fill. But I could do fat as a butterball if you all would just stand still. Oh me, oh my, I'm scrawny. My ribs are sticking out. I could be king of the jungle. Just quit wearing me out. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. I'm tired of chasing you around. I'd like to go to a restaurant and have just one meal sitting down. Oh me, oh my, I'm hungry. Can't seem to get my fill. But I could be fat as a butterball if you all would just stand still. Still. <laughs> the other animals didn't feel one bit safe. They stood at a distance and tried to talk things over with the tawny, scrawny lion. The lion grumbled. It's all your fault for running away. If I didn't have to run, run, run for every single bite I get, I'd be fat as butter and sleek as satin. Just then, a fat little rabbit came hopping through the forest, picking berries. All the big animals looked at him and grinned slyly. The bear said, Oh, you lucky rabbit! We have given you the honor of talking things over with the lion. That made the little rabbit feel very proud. What shall I talk about? Oh, any old thing. But the important thing is to go right up close to him. <laughs> so the fat little rabbit hopped right up to the big hungry lion and counted his ribs. You look too scrawny to talk things over just now. So how about supper at my house first? What's for supper? Carrot stew. That sounded awful to the lion. But then the little rabbit said, Yes, sir. My five fat sisters and my four fat brothers are making a delicious carrot stew right now. Wow! What are we waiting for? And the lion went hopping away with the little rabbit. Thinking of ten fat rabbits and looking just as jolly as you please. All the big animals grinned. Well, that should take care of Tawny Scrawny for today. <laughs> Before long, 
the lion began to wonder if they would ever get to the rabbit's house. The fat little rabbit kept stopping to pick herbs and mushrooms. Then he stopped at the river. I want to catch a few fish for the stew. That was almost too much for the hungry lion. For a moment, he thought he would have to eat that one little rabbit then and there. But he kept saying, Five fat sisters and four fat brothers. Over and over to himself. At last, the two were on their way again. Oh my, look, it's time to turn over the record. The rest of the story is on the other side. There we go. Sit. Here we are, said the rabbit hopping around a turn with the lion close behind him. Sure enough, there was the rabbit's house with a big pot of carrot stew bubbling over an open fire. And sure enough, there were nine more fat, merry little rabbits hopping around it. When they saw the fish, they popped them into the stew along with the mushrooms and herbs. The stew began to smell very good indeed. Whenever we have a grand for lunch, just one thing to do. We pick some berries, catch a fish, and make a carrot stew. Carrot stew, carrot stew, it's our favorite thing to do. Get a pot and a carrot or two. And cook up a carrot stew. for that tired, hungry lion to catch even one of them. So he gobbled his stew. But the rabbits filled his bowl again. When he had eaten all he could hold, they heaped his bowl with berries. And when the berries were gone, the tawny, scrawny lion wasn't scrawny anymore. He felt so good and fat and comfortable that he couldn't even move. Here's a fine thing. All these fat little rabbits. And I haven't room inside for even one. He looked at all those fine, fat little rabbits and wished he'd get hungry again. <clears throat> Mind if I stay a while? We wouldn't hear of your going. The rabbits plumped themselves down in the lion's lap and began to sing songs. <coughs> Somehow, even when it was time to say goodnight, that lion wasn't one bit hungry. Home he went through the moonlight, singing softly to himself. <laughs> he curled up in his bed, patted his sleek, fat tummy, and smiled. <laughs> when he woke up in the morning, it was Monday. 
Time to chase monkeys. But he wasn't one bit hungry for monkeys. What he wanted was some more of that tasty carrot stew. So off he went to visit the rabbits. On Tuesday, he didn't want kangaroos. And on Wednesday, he didn't want zebras. He wasn't hungry for bears on Thursday, or camels on Friday, or elephants on Saturday. All the big animals were so surprised and happy, they dressed in their best and went to see the fat, wonderful little rabbit. But before the big animals could say one word, the tawny lion came skipping up the path carrying goodies for the fat rabbits. I came for supper, he said, shaking paws all around. <coughs> then he sat down in the soft grass, looking fat as butter, sleek as satin and jolly is all get out all ready for another good big supper of carrot stew ah. the end